What's going on everyone? Welcome to Craft Shop. Today we are going to be making a leather sheath for that custom knife that I posted a couple days ago. Now I do have some leather working and some sheath videos on the channel, though my process is kind of changing over time. It's still a bit of an oddball process, not very traditional, but I've always been complimented on my work and I think that they come out all right. So let's jump into it. This is the knife I'll be making the sheath for. At this stage, the knife isn't finished, but if you saw the video prior to this one, you saw me make it start to finish. The first thing I do is design the sheath on paper. I start by folding the paper in half. I put the knife inside, spine against the fold. Using light pressure, I crease the paper down the edge of the blade. I make a small mark near the center of the handle. Next, I draw a parallel line about one inch from the crease. This gives me some extra material when it comes time for the welt. Now I draw the top of the sheath and make sure that it's above the halfway mark. Next up is to sketch the belt loop. Now that it's drawn up, I'll go ahead and cut the paper out. As you can see, there's now a belt loop on either side. If it's a right-handed sheath, leave it on the right side and vice versa. I'll be cutting the loop from the left side to make this a right-handed sheath. Now to transfer this to the leather. I'll be using a piece of pre-dyed nine ounce leather. I'm tracing a little bit outside the lines to account for any mistakes when I cut this out. I'll be extending the belt loop a few more inches as well. And now it's time to turn this into a sheath. I'll be adding a welt using the scrap leather. This is a piece that will be sandwiched between the fold and will protect the stitching from being cut by the knife inside. By rule of thumb, I made this about a half inch wide. Using either contact cement or epoxy, I now attach the welt to one side of the sheath. I 
I'm using some small scraps of leather to act as pads underneath the clamps, and this will keep the clamps from leaving impressions in the leather. I like to make sure that the welt hangs a little bit proud from the rest of the material. Once it's dry, I'm ready to plan out where the stitching will go. I do this by using a stitching groover. This is a tool that cuts channels that can be used as guides while stitching, and also helps the stitching to sit flush with the top of the leather. Before using the groover, I make sure that it's set to cut within the welt. Otherwise, the welt is basically useless. I'll run the groover down both edges, as well as along the top to serve as a decorative detail. And now I'll cut the belt loop to size. These are the punches that I like to use. Using a mallet, I'll make holes down both sides of the sheath, making sure to create an equal amount on both sides. It's a bit tricky to punch far enough to get through the welt, so I'll just be making impressions with the punch and then going back later and drilling it out at the drill press. Before it's all folded up, I'll be finishing the leather with Woodsman Wax. Before I stitch everything up, I'll be cleaning up the belt loop and the top edges which will be very hard to access once it's folded up. I'm using the edge beveler to chamfer the sides of the leather. This leaves me with a clean edge for burnishing, which I'll be doing with water and a burnishing tool. Now that that's done, I'll be stitching it all together, starting with the belt loop. I'm using Ritza 25 Tiger Thread, and I'll be using the saddle stitch technique with two needles. The most important part about saddle stitching is being consistent with your motions. I won't go into depth with this video, but I'll leave some links in the description so that you can learn how to saddle stitch. Once the belt loop is done, I'll move on to stitching the welt. I prefer to start at the top and work my way down towards the bottom of the sheath. Now that it's all stitched up, I'll be evening the three layers with a razor.
And now I'll do the same thing that I did before. I'll finish the edges with the edge beveler and follow that up with a water burnishing. And finally, the sheath is complete. I'll just add one more coat of wax and buff it in with a soft cloth. And there it is, all finished up. Thank you all so much for watching. I think that that sheet came out great. Go ahead and leave your comments down below. Let me know what you would do different. Let me know if you learned anything from this video. I plan to have some more leather working on the channel in the future, so stay tuned if that's what you're into. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.